Guess what time is, folks? It's cruise news time! On the last day of a 14-night cruise on the Carnival Dream, which is a cruise that started and ended in Galveston, Texas, on the last day, that cruise has some major weather issues to the point that all the crew member and all the passengers for one hour had to go into their stateroom and they were not allowed to leave because that's how dangerous and that's how scary it got. For the captain to say that he wanted everybody in their staterooms because of how bad the swells were and the ship was really rocky, this must have been a really terrifying experience both for the crew and the passengers. But do yourself a favor, do remember, this does not happen on every cruise, right? So I was on one cruise where I was in the hurricane, had a scary old deal, right? But guess what? Every cruise after that, it's never happened to me again. So do not think that this happens on every cruise. So an hour after this happened, they let everybody back out to go enjoy their cruise. But some entertainment got canceled due to safety reasons, obviously, because of what happened. And what has still happened on the ship that it was really rocky and everything. And the winds were tremendous. And I do have a video, which I am now going to show you. And right there, you are going to see how tremendous this storm was. And by looking at the video, you may think it don't look that bad. But look again, the swells are deep. And then what I mean by the swells, it's the in between each wave, how deep it goes like this, right? So I'm going to show you just like this in between. So the ship is going like this and it's rocking back and forth, right? So that's what they mean by the swells. If you do not know what the swells are, and if you listen, you can hear how strong these winds are. I mean, these winds were tremendous. And the people who took the video, they showed great courage, but they should have not been on the balcony at that point recording this. So on January 27th, as the NCL Prima was on her way from Galveston, Texas to Costa Maya. And this happened on the second day of the cruise where as the cruise ship was on her way to Costa Maya, they saw a look what it looked like to be basically a wooden raft, right? No motor, no way. They were just floating out in the middle of the ocean trying to escape whatever issues they had in the country that they were from. And more than likely, they were trying to go to the United States of America. As you know, there's a big issue of a lot of migrants coming from South America through Central America into the United States. And now the NCO Prima has found these migrants who were stuck on a raft in the middle of the ocean as they were trying to escape their country. I'm going to show you a picture right now of this raft. And what you see right here is on the side, look at the side. You see all the water bottles. So they were prepared for a very long journey. But now the Prima got them. And now what's going to happen now is they are now on board. And what's going to happen is they're going to get medical attention, food, shelter, water. And now what happens next after is at the next port, which is Costa Maya. More than likely, they will be taken to Costa Maya and given to the local authorities. I mean, this is an unfortunate incident that has happened, and you're seeing more and more of this happen. So more and more people are trying to go by water to get to the United States, obviously. But you know what? It's just a sad situation, no matter how you look at it. So in the comments below, please tell me your opinion. No opinion is right or wrong. Based on these migrants who are coming to the United States by either what you just saw here by a raft, by a little, a little ding of fishing boat, and now the cruisers see them and then they take them. And sometimes they take them to the United States. So do you think that they should just take these passengers onto the cruise ship to the United States? Do you think what they're doing is right is just drop them off at the next port? Or do you think they should do the terrible thing and leave them there? Obviously, I don't believe that they should leave them there. I believe they should just take them to the nearest port. Well, thank you all for watching the show today. Um, until next time, everybody, safe travels.